to another soldering video. Today we're going to be making this rhinestone bow. It is made completely out of 28SS rhinestone chain. It's going to take 176 stones, which will be just about 72 inches. Two three stone sections. Four eight stone sections, four two stone sections, four three stone sections, four four stone sections, four five stone sections, two seven stone sections, and four 17 stone sections. We're going to need two 5 millimeter jump rings, one 12 millimeter lobster class, four 8 millimeter jump rings, and four inches of 8 millimeter round chain. I'm going to be using the same J board that we used for the uh, colored rhinestone tie video that we did just before this one. We're just going to round it out a little bit. Uh, you may want to uh, refer back to that the uh, colorful rhinestone tie video. I'm going to go ahead and roll out the play-doh and get it ready to line the J-board. I'm going to start with the center portion of the tie and go ahead and lay down the uh, first two three stone pieces. And once I get this, those in place and smooth, I will work my way out to the edges. I'm going to go ahead and add the bottom chain, but I'm not going to push it down all the way. I'm just kind of going to kind of set it in place going to have to adjust it as I go, so I'm just going to push it down a little bit at a time. I'm going to add the two-piece rhinestone chain that goes in the center just so I can see where I need to put the top. Once I have that in place, I will go ahead and put the top on. And again, on the top, I'm just going to lay it loosely, too, because it will have to be adjusted. When I put this next two-piece stone in there, I need to separate it a little bit, because it needs to be slightly longer than the first one, because we're going to be going out at an angle. Now we're going to add a three-piece stone chain, and this one it's going to be pushed all the way together. And this next three-piece stone chain is going to be separated just a little bit so you have that nice angle. As you're laying these down, you're adjusting the outside chain, the eight-piece chain. Okay, now we're going to add a four-piece chain, and this, this piece is going to be completely together. Again, I'm adjusting the sides to fit that four-piece chain. And now I'm going to add another four-piece chain, but this time I'm going to separate them out a little bit to give me just a little bit more width, I guess. I'm 
And now I'm going to add a five piece chain and this piece is going to be completely together. And when I say together, that means all the rhinestones are going to be pushed right up to each other. As you're trying to make that angle, then you'll start separate them out a little bit. So the next five stone piece that I'm using is going to be separated out just a little bit. A seven stone piece with all of the rhinestones butted up against each other. And it's going to go on the very end. place and they're smooth and even, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. begin to solder. It's going to heat up the metal first and once it's good and hot I can add solder to this. And you're going to have to hit every single joint. Okay, this needs to be completely solid. let this piece cool and then test it for stability. While it's cooling, I'm going to start on the uh, chain that goes around the neck. And you're going to need, uh, for each side, you're going to need two 17 stone pieces. I'm also going to add a jump ring at the end. Now I'm just going to use a piece of clay to brace the jump ring. I'm going to count down nine stones. That should be my center stone. So I'm going to solder it in the very center.
I'm going to let this piece cool and do another one just like it for the other side of the necklace. I'm going to use a third hand to hold the jump ring in place. I'm going to solder it perpendicular to the bow. It's setting about just beyond the uh, four stone piece. Just going to take some Play-Doh to brace the rhinestone chain so it lays properly while I'm soldering it. And the rhinestone chain is going to be butted up against the jump ring that I just soldered. And the, the Play-Doh just holds it in place so that uh, it doesn't tilt while I'm soldering it. I want it to be straight. I am going a little heavier with the solder on this area than I normally would just because you're putting a lot of weight on a small area. Same thing to the other side, but before I do, I'm going to add a little bit of Play-Doh in front of the jump ring just to keep it in place in case it gets too hot and melts the solder. My piece has cooled down and I've cleaned it up. You can see on the back where the jump ring is and how the uh, chain is attached. I'm just going to open up a jump ring and I am going to attach it to the lobster clasp. Just going to slide it on to the end jump ring and then close it. It's going to open up another jump ring. I'm going to slide this on to the jump ring at the end. Add the chain. Then just close the jump ring. And here we have our finished rhinestone bow. Thanks for watching. See you next time.